previously on LNB, we were hitting the skates. Our sponsor, the Sioux Falls Roller Dolls, inspired Jack to roll out onto the stage. The funny part is we don't have insurance. Uh. <laughs> Probably not the best idea, considering he had just broken his jaw a few weeks prior. When Jack's jaw got sore, he needed a replacement host. Little Jack and Avea had a very intriguing conversation where they talked about losing teeth and showed us some dance moves. <laughs> then, Chantel Krebs joined us as we learned of all the cool things she's accomplished, including shooting a rattlesnake in a thunderstorm. Finally, we ended the episode with a crash. Literally. It gets even wilder tonight, so let's do it. <laughs> again. Yeah, welcome back to Late Night Boom, everybody. You know, we've got a huge show for you tonight. Um, Miss America CEO and President Chantel Krebs is in the building. That's right. Along with Miss South Dakota, Hunter Whitby. Yeah. Big show, big show. Absolutely. Jack, do you think when Late Night Boomin' starts airing, do you think it's just going to blend in with all the other uh, talk shows out there? Well, Zach, there are a lot of shows out there, aren't there? Yeah, there are. Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like they all try to be so new and hip. But, you know, Late Night Boomin' is not your typical late night show. What do you mean? Well, have a seat. I'll yeah. show you. <laughs> all right. Now, you see, at Late Night Boomin', we want to push the boundaries, try new things, get the people involved. Do you see what I have in my hands here? A uh, lawsuit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've got innovation. Now, you've seen people throw beach balls, footballs, even merch into crowds. And the point is, you get a prize. Well, what about golf? Where's the love for golf? We got golfers out there? Well, we thought we would do the first ever golf swing giveaway. <laughs> That's right. If you catch this here golf ball, you win $100. Straight up. Now, who's ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. $100. Who wants, who wants $100? OK, here it comes. I'm sorry, I've got fumble fingers. I dropped my sticks. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. Jack. Are, are you okay? I, 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 yeah, I got another pair of sticks here. So oh, I'm okay. As long as you have another stick. All right. Okay, all right. Sorry. Here we go. $100 golf giveaway. Here we go. It's. Oh, sorry, Jack. Allergies. Al aren't you supposed to be on top of that? You're, you're the flu bug. <laughs> Just hit the ball. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Hundred dollars golf swing giveaway. Who's ready? Who's ready? Yay! Here we go. The line first. Read the line first. What? Yeah, just read I'm the line, to golf Ben. Here. Mitchell, read the line. Come on. <laughs> read the. Okay, beach balls, footballs, merch. Uh, hopefully, I don't get a late night bogey. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. It's crap. Who wrote it? You're fired. <laughs> Come on, guys. Show them some common courtesy. Oh, yeah. You're right. Take the hit, Jack. It's a common courtesy. Right. You, like, you, you don't yell when somebody's trying to golf. Yeah. Like you don't park in someone else's driveway. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you don't use two urinals like right next to each other. <laughs> Or you don't dress as a clown and film strangers while they sleep. I mean. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You, you don't what? I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, you don't dress as a clown and film strangers while they sleep. That's just something you don't do. It's just common courtesy. 
pretty common courtesy, yeah. I would say. I would say. Yeah. Okay, well, can we do this giveaway? Do the giveaway? All right. Okay. $100 golf swing giveaway. Here we go. 100 bucks into the crowd. Here we are. Oh, no, no, no. Doing it all wrong. Right. You know, I played golf when we just used sticks. <sighs> Mr. Potter, what are you doing? I'm trying to golf here. But you're doing it all wrong. Doing it wrong? I studied under the master, Mr. Leroy Gorbelshaft. Leroy Gorbelshaft. Yeah. Who's, yes. Who's, who's, who's Try that? saying that name backwards. Shrift for real. He was a master. In fact, I'm guessing he was the... The creator of golf. Yep, yep. Yeah. It is. Man had a wonderful wit about him in this game. So you're doing it all wrong. You need to swing with your head. Swing with my head? Swing with your head. Isn't that like the one thing you're not supposed to swing with? Not according to Leroy Gorbachev. Right, you're right. Long live Gorbachev. Yep. Yes, God rest his soul. Rest his soul. Okay. Yes. Swing right. with the Well, are we ready for the giveaway? $100? Hmm. Here we go. $100 golf swing giveaway. Uh. <clears throat> Reflux. Oh. <laughs> Reflux. Okay. I've got it too, I get it. <sighs> All right. $100 golf swing giveaway. Here we go. Yay. <laughs> I'd like to learn the rules of golf by Leroy Gobbleschmidt. Wonderful man. Fascinating when it came to the sport of golf. Right. Had such a great philosophy about it. You know this whole swing with the head? That's to keep this loose because it's a mental game. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's just amazing what the man knew how to do with a golf club. So simple. Yes. And the best part is the Scots invented it. Really? Yes. The they, came, they came up with 18 holes. You know how that happened? Because oh. they took a bottle of rye out with them, and they took one shot for every hole. And it was 18 shots in the bottle, so they gave up. <laughs> Which is kind of what I did with my golf game at about that point. Is that why Scott also has toilet paper? Because they have to deal with a lot of holes? Yes. <laughs> and then they used the lawn fertilizer after that. Right. Well, we're learning a lot about golf today. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. Are, are we ready to do, can we please just do the giveaway? Right. Okay. You're, my I'm balls. trying to golf. Guys. Okay. All right. Here we go. $100 golf swing giveaway. Here it is. What? We are out of time. <laughs> That's all we oh, have time sorry. for. Bye. Sorry, people. <laughs> we're out of time for the segment. Fourth the try. Well, at least I save a hundred bucks on this show. <laughs> you know, Zach and I actually went on an adventure this week. We sure did. We explored the depths of this city to discover the world of roller derby. We ventured into the realm of the Sioux Falls roller dolls. Let's have a look. Good night, mates. Today we're exploring a very special part of Sioux Falls. Many locals go about their daily lives unaware that the city is teeming with life. Well, today, at Skate City, you can find some of the most fearsome apex predators on the planet. Or skatepex predators. At this time of year, an ecosystem thrives as they hold a series of wild hunts and scrimmages. They're known as the Roller Dolls. Today, I, Jack Umwin, Along with my helper, Terry. Hi. We'll be traveling into unknown territory. Now, wish us luck as we explore these mysterious creatures. I think they're actually just human women. Oh, oh sorry. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Today's a special day for the Roller Dolls. It's a scrimmage. Let's see how close we can get. Now, watch as 
they interact and keep cool when they're not on the field. You seeing these guys over there? You know them? Uh, I'm not sure. I think one of them's that flu bug guy. <laughs> hey! You! There! You guys want to join us or something? Yes, we've been spotted! How? Or just be weird and keep hiding behind that bush? Alright. Now looky here. Look at this little fella. See, these roller skates have four wheels and they're brightly colored. See, they strike fear into their opponents. Oh, oh wait, this guy's a little feisty. I think he might be a little frisky. Let's, let's let him go back into the wild where he belongs. There you go, little fella. Oh, they are frisky. Shoot, scram. Try and capture one. I believe we found the Alpha Doll. I'm gonna put out some bait. Alright, guys, let's take five. Why is there a hot dog on the track? As you can see, when provoked, they can and will drag you across the ground. <laughs> Alright, let's use another tactic. Sending in a decoy. Now maybe we can fashion some of this net material into a proper decoy outfit. <laughs> All right, our decoy is ready. Terry. All right, Terry. Remember, infiltrate the pack. Get in there, and remember, keep a low profile. Hi. I mean. <clears throat> been spotted by a referee, or zebra, as the dolls call it. Wait, is, 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 can't be on the floor while we're having on the running. It's just a bit for a no. late night show. It's a, it's a no, sketch. No, no, no. It's a character. I'm not going to have it. No, no, come on. Come on. All right, Rev. We'll take it from here. Yeah, we'll take it from here. Zebra. I mean. <laughs> zebra. Woohoo. We sure taught them a lesson, all fellow roller girl. Dude, we know you're an imposter. <laughs> what? Yeah, we knew instantly. Uh, but with all the hard work that you put into our scrimmage and all the dedication, we just figured you'd grow an appreciation for us and how hard we work. Oh, wow. Thanks, girl. Nah, don't push it, bitch. Uh, well. We learned a valuable lesson today. Apparently, showing up to roller derby practice and terrorizing people by throwing nets over them is frowned upon. <laughs> News to me. Anyways, maybe it's best to let these majestic beasts roam free in their natural habitat. My turn! <laughs> Saw 
that for the first time today, and I was more scared of that than Pennywise and It. That's actually the new Halloween costume the kids are going with yeah. this year. I'm going to scare everybody on Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, the roller dolls are very involved in the city, doing volunteer work and uh, contributing as a nonprofit organization. Be sure to check them out, just not with binoculars in the corner of a room. It's <laughs> a good idea. Yeah. Um, our next guest for the evening is none other than Miss South Dakota herself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hunter Whidbey. <laughs> Hunter, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. This How are is so you? fun. It's, it's a good time. It's a hoot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is a hoot. Don't yeah. you know? <laughs> don't you know, know. <laughs> I would get right into the interview, but I don't have my interview card. But I think there was an invention. <laughs> The patent got declined for it. Okay. Uh, can we please get the roller dolly out here? You know, they did not bring my Miss South Dakota questions to me like that, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I, they will be soon. This thing's going to catch yeah. on. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is me in 40 sure. years. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. Well, Hunter, welcome to the show. You are Miss South Dakota. That's a pretty big accomplishment, <laughs> wouldn't you guys say? <laughs> What's that like? What, what does it take to become Miss South Dakota? What's that all about? Yeah, so while, like when I competed, I mean, I was up on stage, we had a private interview with judges that lasted about 10 minutes before I went and competed. Um, well, I guess I was competing at that point. But then there's like the live part in front of an audience and you have panelists there that you'll have an onstage question so they could ask you anything and you anything. have to, anything, anything. And you have to know the answer. Well, you don't have to know like the perfect answer, but you have to be pretty well spoken. Um, and then there's a social impact pitch. So a cause, you pick a cause that's really important to you and you advocate it throughout your year of being Miss South Dakota. And so mine is pediatric cancer awareness. And so I had like a minute long pitch that I performed in front of an audience, kind of saying why it's important and why people should care. And then the big portion that I like is the talent portion. And so what you saw earlier when I sang Feeling Good was what I did for my talent. That's yeah. So, so singing, you're yes. singing for your talent. Yes. Um, I heard that you are actually a very good yodeler. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I sing all different types of genres. Uh, in my Miss South Dakota interview, I had on my resume that I could yodel, just as like a fun fact. It's not like I'm a professional yodeler or anything. But they asked me to yodel you in my interview. You dabble with Yeah. You dabble with I the dabble yodeling. with yodeling. Yeah. Did you... Uh, <laughs> Teach us how to yodel, maybe? I could try. <laughs> yeah, yeah? Um, what does the yodel sound like? What does the yodel sound like? You, so you want me to show you me yodeling? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> High on a hill was a lonely goat turtle, lay yodel, lay yodel, lay hee hoo. She yodel that to the lonely goat turtle, lay yodel, 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 lay I've got a joke for you. Oh gosh. Knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Yoda Leahy. Yoda Leahy who? <laughs> that was a good one. Thank that you. was a good one. Here's I should the, use that more often. Quality <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> we hit rock bottom in the writing room. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. I honestly, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to remember. I never had thought of that. That's good. That's good. So how do you yodel? Can can how like, okay. Zach, do you want to try with? Yeah. Maybe okay. we could all try with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So you know, like right, right where your voice cracks? Uh, <laughs> let's all try it. Come on. Let's hear voice cracks. <laughs> okay. Now, once you master that, then you're just gonna make it a little more smooth. <laughs> you should have told me that in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> you, could have, you could have owned the voice crack. Yeah, you're gonna make that a little more smooth, and um, yeah, you like high in the hills, a lonely goat herd. Like when you go from the like the, you gotta add that little voice crack. 
and then smooth it out a little bit, and then you just say, you old lady, really fast. You old lady, 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 and you just let it happen. I mean, it's not going to be pronunciated very well, but that's kind of the point. You just keep saying it really fast and just let it happen. People just assume it's Scottish, so like, who knows what you're saying? It's been you old lady this whole time? Well, I don't know. That's what I say. My life's a lie. Well, what do you think it is? I just thought it was Yoda Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think it actually might be that, but uh, I say you old lady. Well, that's how I, I you know, do it. I just think you old lady. Can the three of us try it all at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. You, you, you kick us off. Are we singing the intro uh, portion or just yeah, Yoda yeah, we'll Lady? Yeah, we'll sing the intro okay, portion. Ready? We'll try to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> High uh, on a hill, uh, uh, we go uh, turn to lay Yoda Lady. Yoda Lady. Yoda that liked to rap while I yodeled, so maybe we could add a little of that <laughs> next Yodel time. Yeah. 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 I, I bet you could do a really good uh, Adam Sandler impression. <laughs> 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 I think I'll save that for you. I'll save that for you. Yeah, I'll save that for you. Well, you know, Hunter, the Miss America competition is really cool and takes a lot to be great at. I honestly think that I could do the Miss America contest. I could at least be Little Miss late night booming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you might have what it takes. Let's do it. You think we should have our own Little Miss Late Night Booming competition? Too I think that would be an awesome experience for everyone. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Little Miss Late Night Booming contest. Woo! It's good. Welcome, one and all, to the official Little Miss Booming competition. I, Mr. Potter, will be your moderator. Now, who wants to see who will become the official Little Miss Boomin? Yes! The first trial is the evening gown event. Our contestants will strut across the stage in their finest attire. First up, we have Chantel Krebs. We have Hunter Whitby. And finally, here comes Zach and Jack. Now that you've made your entrances, it's time for our second trial. Oh, I, wait, the interview. Wait, I, I thought this was nightgown. <laughs> Honestly, I could wear this outfit any show. <laughs> I've seen him in it before. <laughs> yep. <last> All right. <laughs> Here's what's going to take place. Okay. You will face each other one on one. Hunter and Zach, you will go first. You must answer the question as fast as you can without even thinking about the answer. Right. We'll go back and forth between the two of you. Every other question. Are you ready? Yes. Zach, the first question is for you. Where is my shirt? In your closet. Hunter, why do we have five fingers? Because we do. Zach, create a new color. Burbisher. <laughs> Hunter, what is the best alien language? You want to know it? Zach, if you could rename your grandma, what would you name her? Beavisette. <laughs> Hunter, what would you name a bologna sandwich? Bologna? <laughs> Zach, why is the sky blue? Because you're a guy in a chair. <laughs> Hunter, why didn't the chicken cross the road? Because it didn't make it there. <laughs> Zach, why were you banned from the public library? Because I pee on the floor too much. 
Hunter, who's on first? Me? <laughs> Zach, what is the capital of the country of pretzel? Bagel. <laughs> and Hunter, is President Calvin Coolidge great or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very intelligent answers. Very intelligent. Chantel? You're up. You've seen how the game is played. Excuse me, the interview. <laughs> Jack, the first question is for okay. you. Okay. Jack, what's the best toilet paper flavor? Uh, uh, mint peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Be uh, careful I'm, how you say peanut. Uh, Chantel, <laughs> what is the strangest thing? You. Or <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fox. If you could put glitter on one thing right now, Jack, what would it be? Uh, uh, children. <laughs> Chantel, what is the rudest food? Hot dogs. Oh, that's a rude one. Jack, what does dot dash dot dash dash dot in Morse code say? Uh, uh, what up, yo? Hunt for it, October. <laughs> so close. Chantel, if you could time travel, what time would you go to? Western time, 1800s. Ooh. Quick with that answer. Jack, describe Jack in one word. Uh, uh, uh Smart, good looking. <laughs> Chantel, why does Elvis hate you? He doesn't. Priscilla loves me. <laughs> Jack, why should we get Zach a card? Uh, because it's his birthday. Come on. Chantel, fireflies, yes or no, and yes. why? Yes, because they light up the night. Aww. Just like my husband. Aww, that is sweet. <laughs> I'm feeling verklempt now. <laughs> Jack! Yes? Silly putty or Play-Doh, and why? Ah, Play-Doh, because it's just mushy and gooshy. <laughs> Chantel, where do you fall on the 16th Amendment? Before it. Oh. You know what? One of the people that actually probably knows what it is. <laughs> Jack, if cats could talk, what would they say? Uh, they would say, uh, uh, I'm sitting on dandruff. <laughs> All right. Well, the judges will consider your answers. For the final trial, you must show us your best talent. Ooh. Talent. What do you got? I think that we should do it as a team. A team? A team. What? All and four it, of us? All yeah, four of us. Four. Maybe? But that, Nevaeh taught me some really cool dance moves recently. Okay. So maybe we could dance. Dance? Maybe you could oh. show us those can dance, we dance? Yeah. Could I show you? <laughs> can we? You got something? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. Oh! oh. The music. Mr. Potter. How'd we do? The final answer is in. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, the official Little Miss Late Night Boomin is me! I win! I'm the real Miss Late Night Boomin! <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, yes! Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Oh boy! That is all the time we have for you tonight. So be sure to follow us online because we're always booming. We'll be back next week. Good night, everyone. Okay.